Dry weather and drought have been a common topic, as you probably know, in our weather team's forecasts and all around western New York the past few weeks. Now, most might assume that drought only means that it hasn't rained in a while or we just haven't seen enough rain recently. But as Liam Healy explains, there's a lot more that goes into it. Summer in western New York brought drought with it this year. The weekly drought report puts several towns and cities in a moderate drought as of Thursday morning. According to Jessica Spaccio, a climatologist with the Northeast Regional Climate Center, it's more than just a lack of rain. Typically when we talk about the drought monitor, there's several different factors that go into that. Now, one is simply precipitation, you know, how much rain has fallen, um, are we below or above normal, uh, things like that. Other factors they look at include stream flow, groundwater levels, and soil moisture. To get that data, though, someone must be recording it. That's where the New York State Mesonet comes in. Our New York State Mesonet is a collection of the 126 weather stations uh, distributed around New York State. All that data, according to June Wong, is important, though some more so than others. We have soil moisture measurements at three levels. We did not have that before New York State Mesonet. And then soil moisture is very important for farmers and for the dry drought monitoring. In addition to measuring soil moisture, the Mesonet also measures rainfall, which despite not being all the equation for declaring a drought, is still important. To fill in where the Mesonet isn't, organizations like the NRCC rely on programs like COCORAS, which help to fill some of the gaps. COCORAS is a great network and we, you know, we have a decent amount of um, observers across New York State, but there's always you know, some places where there's a hole and like, oh, we really wish we had an observer in that town. So while rain is going to help alleviate drought, it is far from the only change that needs to be seen across the region. Reporting in Rochester, Liam Healy, News 8. Liam, thank you. If you're interested in becoming a citizen scientist, you can find that information with this story on our website at rochesterfirst.com.